so uh, now we will talk about what is IP design. So intellectual property design involves developing new products or processes that can be patented or otherwise protected by IP rights. Design thinking is a problem-solving approach which involves empathizing with users, defining the problem, trying to ideate solutions, prototype them, and test them. And there are different methods and frameworks within design thinking, thinking like the ones you can see on the slide here. So the AI, AEIOU method, the cognitive walkthrough, swim learning illustration, etc. So these methods can be combined into a unified approach when we are talking about IP design. And by combining these methods, we can develop new innovative products or processes, which will address the needs of the target audience, which we will uh, identify through these methods. And then once we address those needs with some ideas, we can try to protect them through IP rights. Uh, so in our parking use case, uh, we first applied the cognitive walkthrough method. The cognitive walkthrough method is a usability technique used in the design of IP process to evaluate the user friendliness of the product or the system. Basically, the method involves a systematic analysis of what we are offering, the product or the service, from the user's perspective to identify potential issues or difficulties which users may, may encounter during their interaction with our service or product that we offer. So basically, we analyze the process steps in the use case uh, by cutting them down to the most uh, smallest steps that you take. And basically, you create a walkthrough scenario, which means that we take on the, ro the role of the user and go through each step that the user uh, goes through during usage of our product or service. Uh, that is especially uh, useful for identifying usability issues, which may might be missed through other evaluation methods. And so overall, it can help uh, designers gain a better understanding of the user experience and thus develop more user-friendly products and systems. And once we have performed this cognitive walkthrough method, we will now uh, combine it with other methods where I leave the floor for uh, my colleagues. Thanks, Lina, for running through the customized parking experience. So for my side, I will be sharing an application scenario for this uh, customized parking experience using the AEIOU method. First of all, the AEIOU method is a design thinking tool that is used to collect uh, qualitative data during the observation stage of the design process. And we will apply this methodology using an example um, in this slide. So uh, first of all, I think the order is a bit jumbled up. It is A-E-O-U-I over here instead of A-E-I-O-U, right? So uh, first, A uh, refers to activities and what activities are actually performed by the users. Um, and in this uh, specific example, uh, I won't go through the one on the, on the left-hand side, which is uh, looking for assigned parking bay and the rest is just a repeat and only for illustration. Right, so for activities, it's basically looking for an assigned parking bay and for the environment, uh, which is what is the physical environment in which the activities take place. And this will also require some self-explanatory uh, navigation that is required. And in terms of objects, um, it refers to what kind of objects or tools that are being used by the users. And over here, um, we will need things like signage, parking guidance system, modular cell, parking bay, um, and also the lighting system. So the next one would also be um, user groups. And that means who are the users and also what are their characteristics and also needs, right? And also for this specific example, um, we, we are looking at price sensitive parkers, um, ultra small car parkers, SUV parkers, and also users of women's parking spaces. And also last but not the least, uh, which is interactions. And that refers to what kind of interactions occur between users and their environment, and also uh, between the environment uh, together with the users themselves. And over here, you can see that for driver signage, um, we will need the driver to be able to orientate themselves. Uh, the parking guidance system and also the vehicle 
uh, whereby there is a need for the PGS to check the vehicle. And also the PGS will need to check, uh, I mean, the guide the driver. And last but not the least, the lighting system and also the driver, which the lighting system will need to support and also guide the driver. Right, so these uh, would also help uh, to illustrate um, the use of this uh, AEIOU method. And I'll pass on to the next uh, speaker um, to, to um, present. Um, so this is uh, basically how to, um, uh, my, my main goal here is uh, um, to understand how what has been told before uh, can be used uh, in particular in the car um, the car parking experience. So, for instance, here we are some example like recording using parking um, parking preferences, evaluation occupancy situation, directing user or insurance uh, availability of parking space as booked or computing parking fees or pa or for parking space booked. So this is just an example of how all the scenario uh, previously um, illustrated can be used in this particular situation. And after this uh, brief uh, short example, I leave the floor to the next speaker. So here we need to identify, um, let's say real life tasks that the driver has to do in the parking bay and transform it into a technological task. So the idea here is how to help people going to a free space uh, parking place in the parking bay. So to help them, we need to identify a free parking space to compare the parking space with the vehicle dimension, because obviously if the place is too teeny and you have an SUV, it's not going to match. So we need to, to compare the two things. Um, determine the ideal position of the vehicle, like how you're going to park it. Mark out the customer's uh, parking place to help the driver to see, okay, here is the free, sp uh, the free space or the free uh, parking place, so let's go here. And provide assistance within the parking process. Obviously, all of the, the subtasks are protectable or may be protectable by patents. So we need to check all of these tasks and obviously made some FTO, <laughs> as we said before. Um, we may stick to the, the, the fourth one, the marking out the custom parking place, because uh, on the next slide, we, we are going to discuss, okay, so now we have a, a subsequences and we need to check all alternatives, how we can succeed to, de to do these things. So we need the space requirements and to display where is the free space, the free parking place. So for the first one, for the space requirement, we need to determine the vehicle dimension, the duration in the parking bay, and if everything match, and if we can park the car on any place, or any, free space, any free place. The second one is display marking. So we can do it mechanically, optically, or inside the vehicle side. And let's start with this one. Let's say you as a driver, you know that there is a free space uh, free space somewhere and inside the vehicle we can use the display system navigation or have a head up uh, system like in, in the parking bay you have some uh, screen telling you okay turn left on right or things like this uh, the other solution is the mechanical solution so uh, viable limitation bars or partition walls or things like this and the last one was the optical um, solution to display where you have to go. So we can use a projection system um, or having some light on the floor to help you going where you have to go. Um, and some LED integrated on the floor, it's, it's another solution. That's it for, for us.